Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best third party controllers for PlayStation. Starting at number 5 Logitech G Driving Force G29 Racing Wheel for PlayStation 5. The Logitech G Driving Force G29 Racing Wheel is the PlayStation controller to get if you're into racing games like Gran Turismo 7 and F1 2022, to name a few great ones. The accessory has a duo of motors for in-game force feedback, steel shifter paddles, a leather-wrapped wheel, and LED indicator lights to remind you when to change gears. It comes bundled with a high-quality, three-pedal module for a complete racing simulation setup. And you can add an optional manual gear shifter. Logitech equipped the Driving Force G29 with easy-to-access PlayStation controls, so you can navigate your console's interface between racing stints. The racing wheel has sturdy clamps and mounting points, so it's easy to attach to a table, a desk, or a racing simulator. Consider this hoary offering if you're looking for a PlayStation racing wheel on a tighter budget. Coming at number 4. Backbone One Mobile Gaming Controller for iPhone. This iteration of the popular Backbone One Mobile Gaming Controller is tailor-made for PS Remote Play from an iPhone. Backbone developed it in collaboration with the PlayStation team, and it has the same white finish as the DualSense controller that comes bundled with Sony's latest console. The controller packs thumbsticks and buttons with exceptional tactility. Thanks to a lightning connector, it will link to any iPhone and deliver instant input responses. Another benefit of the lightning input, you can charge your iPhone while gaming or use the Backbone One as a wired controller by connecting it to an iPad or a Mac via a USB-C to lightning cable. In addition to PS Remote Play, the gadget is compatible with iOS gaming titles. My favorite bit about the Backbone One is that it has a standard audio jack, allowing me to use a wired headset throughout my testing as I was gaming. At number 3. Scuff Reflex Gaming Controller for PlayStation 5 The Reflex is a luxurious alternative to the DualSense. The much pricier product stands out by offering myriad visual customization options. You can create a reflex for yourself or recipient by choosing a color for its buttons, panels, triggers, and grips, among other bits. Customization goes beyond the looks, though, as you can tailor the product's trigger buttons and grips. For example, opt for instant trigger buttons for shorter travel, a must for competitive gameplay where milliseconds count. The device also packs customizable paddle buttons. I found them to be handy during intense gaming sessions because I could make faster inputs without disrupting my thumbstick controls. Creating the scuff reflex of your dreams is interactive and fun. Getting the PlayStation 5 controller of your dreams is worth the long wait, too. Number 2 of my list Hori Fighting Commander OCTA Controller for PlayStation 5 The Fighting Commander OCTA Wired Controller is the one to get for PlayStation fighting game aficionados. It's a reasonably priced, reliable backup to Sony's DualSense. Its six-button layout includes R1 and R2 buttons sitting diagonally alongside the quartet of standard controls. The setup mentioned above makes playing PlayStation 5 titles like King of Fighters 15, among many others, considerably more engaging. The same goes for its gated analog stick with short throw action. The controller also packs a standard audio jack for connecting a wired headset. And number 1. Razer Wolverine V2 Pro Wireless Gaming Controller. The Razer Wolverine V2 Pro Controller has buttons with amazing tactility, courtesy of the gaming giant's mechatactyl technology. Pressing the gamepad's buttons and D-pad, in addition to instant responses, treated me to satisfactory clicks that make rivals feel more generic in comparison. So does Razer's app-customizable Chroma RGB lighting. The Wolverine V2 Pro performs in wired and wireless, via a bundled USB dongle, modes. Its layout includes six additional customizable buttons, adjustable triggers, and swappable thumbsticks. Compared to Sony's DualSense, the V2 Pro has a different D-pad and left thumbstick placement, with the latter sitting above the D-pad instead of alongside its right counterpart. Still, you should know that the Wolverine V2 Pro is more expensive even than Sony's range-topping DualSense Edge controller, 
without offering haptic feedback or a bundle case. Depending on your gameplay preferences, the former's absence can be a deal breaker. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.